12 of these. 12 of these cis back wheels will replace 24. Well done. Thank you, Leslie. Here we have uh, another quarter one. Well, except for the spring assembly. Need to mount those in there also. We'll get those going. And this is the system here. With the spring. That'll be adjusted in place. In Very good. Okay, hello again. Well, we're over here at uh, South One Telescope Home. We're going to re be replacing this whole system here all around. Today we're going to change out um, several of these wheels here for only three of Dr. Sturman's new system. These are all failing here. I don't know if you can see this down in here. This wheel's totally broken off of its uh, bearing mount. Just kind of sitting there on its little axle. Replacing, uh, well, how many do we have? Oh, about seven of those up there. We're going to replace with three of these. And some of the tools we're going to be needing the hydraulic jack here, finger system to raise the dome. And we have a magnetic drill that we're going to be using in this platform to support the drill flat and level for drilling and tapping. Before we even get to that point, uh, we have a nibbler. We have to cut away some of the flashing up there. And let's see what else do we have here. Oh, we have uh, standard tools here and Saws all, and we're going to be changing out uh, the system, and we're going to be moving the encoder over to one side to equally space these wheels. We'll be back in a moment. Thank you. Okay, we have the uh, assembly, old assembly, uh, detached from uh, the dome here, as you can see. Oh, 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 okay, I better use both hands. <laughs> and uh, we'll take this out, and then we have to cut this, this flash in here with a template that I made to match the bottom of the, the base of the uh, new assembly. We'll catch you after a little bit. Okay, uh, the next thing we've done is we made this uh, template to match uh, the bottom base of this here for the truck assembly. We have to cut this outside flashing to match that, that base. We're going to use the electronic nibblers. Uh, I don't know if you can see the outside here, but here's some of the damage from the dome sitting down on top of the flash on the outside and just uh, cutting away at that flashing. It's cut all the way through. Okay, so what we've done here is uh, we're using this magnetic drill on this platform, and uh, which is a clamp itself, which is level with this beam. And uh, we used a uh, small drill for a counterbore, and we're using this combination drill and tap. And uh, you have to be really careful with the system. We'll set this up and uh, see if we can record this as we do this here.
You have to be careful not to release the magnet because that throws off your alignment. You have to make sure you're using the drill functions and not magnetic function here. Be very careful. Very good. Okay, we have to go over on the other side and cut another area out for the base using the template and the nibbler. And all the chains out of here. The first quadrant installed, the first three sets of new drum truck wheels. The second quadrant directly across the opposite side will be installed tomorrow. Thank you. Well, we got one quadrant done. And we have three more quadrants to go. Nine more truck wheels. And uh, that'll be the second telescope will have other probably well four other telescopes to do. Sure it would be nice though to come back home and be able to relax and sit down on a porch if we had one of the bunkhouse, but we don't. <laughs>